All right, so this is something that you'll see in second year a bit more. Um, it's called the method of Frobenius. So let's consider the following ODE. Now, the problem with this ODE is that the co it's linear, it's second order, but the coefficients are non-constant. Okay, so we don't we, we don't know how to solve this. Okay, so that's the that's the important important part. What we're going to do is use power series to solve this. We're going to assume that the solutions to this problem are in the form of a power series. Okay, now that's a big assumption. Okay, but um, we'll, um, we'll we'll work under that assumption. Now, what what you want to do is Right, the right-hand side is a series. You've, you're going to assume y is a series, so the derivatives are also going to be series. And then you're going to um, equate the coefficients in all these series. So the first part is to write down the series for this. So we know e to the x is just this. And so if you just take out the first term and move it to the other side, you'll get this. So part B says, assume the solution to our ODE is in the following form. Now, if we can determine some sort of um, uh, setup for A sub K, then we've completely de determined our solution. So, it's a so we're assuming it's a power series, and what we're going to try to do is find these coefficients, these A sub Ks. Once we know those, we have the whole series, so we, we know our solution. Okay, so we, we're looking for A naught, A1, A2, blah, 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 blah. Now, what I'm going to do is take this fo general form of the solution, differentiate once, twice, and sub it in, including my part in A, for in into this, this starred series. Okay, so it's going to get a bit messy, but... So if I differentiate... I'll get something like this. So if I, you know, you, again, if you, you can write out these if you want to. You're going to get a1 plus 2a2x plus you know, blah, 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 blah. And the second derivative is going to be something like this. Okay, so if I differentiate again, I'm going to get something like that. Okay. All right, so let's take these, these four, uh, I guess well, we only need three of these things, sub them in here, and then we're going to equate the coefficients. Okay, so... Okay, so on the left hand side I'm going to have x squared times this plus x times this equals this series. Okay, so it's a little bit messy, but Okay, so that's my first term, my x squared y double prime. That's my second term, x times y prime. Yep. Okay. Now, to equate everything, 
what I'm going to do is get these lower sums. So here I start at k equals 2, right? If, if I put this in, I'm going to get x to the k in here. If I put this in, I'm going to get x to the k. I've already got x to the k there. So the powers, the corresponding powers, are going to be all the same. The only thing that's different about these sums is that I start this sum at 2, I start this sum at 1, and this sum at 1. What I'm going to do is expand these, these two things here, so that I've got all the summations starting at 2. right? So I'm going to take the first term out of this sum and the first term out of this sum. right? And then I'm going to be left with the following. So it's a little bit messy, but let me show you. So I've used so, so the big brackets mean uh, is the second term, which I'm taking the first term out of the sum for. Uh, yes. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. X to the k. Sorry. So this is x to the k here. Uh, because um, these sums aren't defined at k equals 1. But the value that you put to k equals 1 is k. What? I mean, at k equals 1, this is 0, so you get no information from this, well, from this if, sum. If, something, if you put k equals 1, then the like, down sum will change because the, there is 0. So if you add something with add a sum with a 0. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I mean I'm. I, I'm sort of going up to the highest number that I can. So I saw that this is starting at k equals 2, this is starting at k equals 1. So I'm going to take out the sums and, st and st start them at the highest number down here. OK? All right, so what have I got that's left over? Because I've got equality here, this coefficient has got to equal this one, right? So what do I know about a1? It's going to be 1, right? So you're just comparing the coefficients now. Because you have equality, the coefficients on this side have got to equal the coefficients on this side, right? Now, if I look at, if I sort of join this sum up with this sum, then what do I get? I get, I've got a common factor of a sub k. And over here, I've got 1 on k factorial. So I can just clean up here, and I'm going to get k, a sub k, equals 1 on k factorial. So a sub k is just 1 on k times k factorial. Now, I already know what a1 is, so... Oh, yeah, oh, sorry. Yes, k squared. Thank you. Sorry, YouTube. Um, big props to Manav for that one. Uh, no, no, that's all right. Just, just giving you your props. Um, okay, so, so, so what does it mean? What does it mean? So, I've found my a sub k. So, I can go back now and write a, you know, a definite a sub k in there, and I've got my, got my solution. Uh, a sub, sorry. Okay, so it looks a bit messy, but that is your, that is your um, solution based on the assumption that your solution was in this form to start with. Now, that's a huge assumption. Okay, it dates back to um, the method of Frobenius. Okay, and that's something you'll see a little bit uh, in second year if you do more maths.